Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team, of course, here with some good news on our progress on Divi 5. Now, if you guys recall, we had a dev letter a little while ago, maybe a month or so ago, where we asked you guys to vote on which plugins you'd like to see converted to Divi 5 compatibility first. And you'll see here up on the screen that it resoundingly that you guys wanted Divi Machine and Body Commerce to be the first plugins that we do as well as the full folder and Ajax filters up there too. And I've got good news in today's update directly from Peter, who's heading up the Divi 5 development here at Divi Engine. We are focused on those loops. So that'll be your product loops, your post loops, that type of stuff. And he is going to be the one that explains it best. So enough of my mug for now. I'm going to give it over to Peter and then I'll circle back with you and talk about the highlights. Take it away, Peter. Hi everyone, this is a Divi 5 update at Divi Engine. Uh, we've been working on Divi Ajax filter first. Uh, the idea is to spend a lot of time uh, building out our modules and making code uh, like transferable or uh, reusable in different modules to make A, dev easier for us, but B, make it quicker for you when you are using the website because we are looking at improving the speed of our modules as well as um, the usability when it comes to Divi 5. So a lot of our time has been spent working on the reusable uh, blocks but uh, yeah so I'll just show you a couple of things so we're not we're not yet finished but you can see over here when you load the post title it has a placeholder and then we load in uh, the title so that's one big change has happened already at the moment, you can see I'm on this page called D4 to D5, so it's putting in the title of the page. Uh, when when Divi have the theme builder working, which they don't have yet, I will then we'll then look at putting in the correct title based on what template you're using. We can't test that yet, as I said, because Divi have not yet completed Divi theme builder. Again, with the thumbnail, we just put in a post thumbnail loading. Um, and then it pulls in whichever one it is. Most exciting really is, the, well, the one that's been most of the work is the archive loop. That's something that we've been w really working on. Uh, we are merging body commerce. So body commerce and machine had similar uh, settings, but we can be merging the two together and having one. This way, it's better for everybody going forward. So right now we have auto detect. Again, when we're in the theme builder, and let's say you have a template which has cars or uh, products archive page auto detect. We were we're going to be putting the correct one in. We have not been able to test this because I mentioned that the scene builder is not done yet. But the idea is that it will do that. So then it shows a true representation of what you're going to be seeing on the front end. I'm just going to change it to products, and we can see here is our uh, loop templates with our TV blog style. I'm just going to save this page and then reload the front end so you can see it looking the same. Yeah. Sorry, I reloaded the page before it saved. That's the way it goes. Okay, so we have... Yeah, obviously this has got two two columns because of the width. But if we drag that down there, you'll see it goes to four columns. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Okay, so we have um, the blog style. Uh, we have the background style. So you can do that. You can change this the setting, Divi shop style, um, advanced templates, loop layout. So they will all work in the visual builder with Divi 5 and on the front end, which is great. You know, there might be some improvements such as loading custom loop layout. I might change that. That hoodie with zipper is a, it was a test for me, so don't worry too much about that. But yeah, we can see it. See it all showing up there with the loop layout. This is using our title and our thumbnail module. Uh, yeah, so the the I'm just gonna go back to the the blog style for now. Uh, and then yeah, as you can see, it will. We've made some changes. Um, we're going to be improving this again as we go along. But this is the first is uh, the first version. So instead of having to add the categories comma separated we've added in checkboxes so it's easier for you 
So let's say I want to just show all the hoodies. I can click that rather than type in hoodies. And then this way, I know it's correct. Again, we do the same with taxonomies. Uh, the grid style, you can then obviously add the switch on there. Uh, there's loads of there's loads of different things you can do, and it all works. So let's change to three custom gutter gaps. Let's change the color color gaps, and we can see it working really nicely. Let's go at ten. Um, and then the load. I want to have load more, and I also want to show results count. And some rot. So this, the the one the nice thing about I find about DB five is this sidebar gets like fixed to the side the whole time. It's really cool because when you save the page, it, it doesn't resize and makes it easier I think to work with. So we should have what looks like this on this on that side as well. There we go. Now the reason. So the reason why it's, there's no load more button is because there are no more posts in there. So if I actually just remove that and just do all the all the products, and let's just go to post count uh, four. Uh, no, actually it's a row of three, so one of those six, and save that. That should show the load more button. Uh, with the results counts in the Visual Builder. The one thing I wanted to do was it's hard to show okay, so you see it saying show all showing all six results. It was hard to kind of show that in the visual builder. All of these. So what I've done is I've just done it for this one. So you see it says showing and you do percent D, that's one. So I could go products percent oh, products one of the Total, I don't know, 15, something like that, you know. So you can see it in the visual builder. It's uh, check, uh, it obviously in the visual builder changing on live as you can you can see it. I'm always reloading this page too quickly, but yeah, so anyway, uh, you know, you can disable the featured image, uh, disable the author. It's all, it all works really good in the visual builder, and then on the front end, the same way. And this is the first version. Uh, we're going to be doing some more thorough testing. Uh, but now we are finished with the archive loop. We're going to be moving on with the uh, the filter, the filter module next, and improving that. And then we will wrap up to the Ajax filter and move on to the next plugin. So great progress, and yeah, we just want to give you a little little preview of what we've been working on and uh, it's only only going to go better from here so thanks all for being with us and see you soon yeah and there you guys have it straight from the horse's mouth from peter all the updates so far on Divi 5 and as you can tell there's a lot going on now do i recap kind of the main points here the Divi 5 is not fully team boulder compatible so we're still working on and working closely with the Elegant Peeps team there on getting that both in. And then, of course, we're also trying to create not only Debye 5 compatible modules, of course, but we're also trying to make sure that we're improving the performance of all the modules that we have. So that is number two. And number three, of course, is there's going to be a lot of advancements within the archive loop modules. So that's your product loop, your post loop, all of that fun stuff. And what we want to do is add some functionality there to make it easier to work with these modules because we know that it can be kind of confusing for the new guys. And then number four is going to be, well, we are doing some consolidation of our code base. So we're merging all these different archive loops into one central code base so that it's much easier for us to push updates in a timely manner and that the features are kind of on parity with each other depending on whether you're using the B-Body Commerce or maybe you're using the B-Machine. And lastly, we are, of course, looking forward to Divi and the Elegant Team, the Dev Team, to release more features to the developers as far as documentation goes, Visual Builder compatibility, Team Builder compatibility, and all that fun stuff. But Divi 5 has already come a long way. Uh, we can't be more excited 
to get our teeth sunken in more deeply. So guys, with that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, do all that fun stuff. If you want to make sure that you don't miss a beat on Divi 5 and our progress towards it with all of our plugins. So guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.